Okay, guys, welcome to another session, um, another video tutorial. Today, we are going to learn how to configure the Huawei modem for voice setup, for voice setup, so that you can connect um, a, a handset or a telephone device to the modem and you're able to make and receive phone calls. Okay, so as usual, you log in with your uh, credentials. Telecom admin password is admin telecom. Admin telecom. That is admin telecom for password. Okay. So from the home page, you click on advance. And under advance, select one. Actually, one will be selected by default. So we wait for the page to load. Okay, I already have two setups or two configurations. They are both for internet. But now we are going to create two more, two more for voice. Voice actually requires two. You need one for signaling and you need another configuration for the media. So select new. And then new, unlike data where you select the PPPoE, here we're going to maintain the IPoE. And change service type from internet to voice over IP internet. VLAN ID will be provided by your ISP. In my case, I'm going to use 150 for VLAN ID. That is for the signaling side. And then under IP acquisition mode, we're going to select static instead of DHCP static we're going to use static and you should have received IP addresses static IP addresses for the signaling before you even begin to do the setup so in my case this is a static IP for the signaling side of the voice configuration and then subnet mask would be 255, 255, 255. And then under default gateway will also be provided. Default gateway is, okay. So this is the default gateway. Then apply. Okay, so I've made some changes to the IPC. So these are the signaling IP and the default gateway, then apply. We wait for the page to load. OK, so this is what we just created. We have to create another one for media. Okay. We change voice type again to voice over IP internet. And then VLAN ID will be 151. The first one was 150. This is 151. This is again provided by your ISP or by the ISP. Then IP acquisition mode again change to static and then enter the IP address so media IP is here then default subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and then let's say let's enter um, let's say 26 let's say dot one here for default gateway okay so apply We wait for the page to load again. Okay, so we have two new additions or two new setups. The first one, voice, voice over IP internet with um, VLAN of 150. Second one, voice over internet with VLAN of 151. 
the first one is a signaling and the second one is a media we need to take note of that now we just completed the first part of it and we're going to the second and final part of our voice configuration and so under advanced tab we locate voice which is here and then we move to sip slash h.248 conversion and we change sip to h.248 and apply okay okay then back now we move to voice over ip basic okay so here we are going to enter some addresses ips or domains here these two and these will also be provided by the isp but in my case vodafone ghana will normally use 10.233.128.3 for the primary mgc and then for secondary and sorry and for the standby mgc we have 35 so the difference is this is 3 and this is 35 for the 2. Okay, then we scroll down and set the signaling port. We ignore every other thing and then head to signaling port. Remember we earlier on configured signaling and then data parameters earlier under 1. So these are the ones we are going to use here. Remember this? And remember that earlier on I said this is for the signaling so we're going to select this for signaling and then under media we select this so we have these two okay region I'm in Ghana so I'm going to select Ghana okay now your your modem can mostly take two handsets two telephones and so you either connect to port one or to port two port one or port two so here we've configured for just one phone only one telephone and so you can choose to connect to voice to port one or to port two either one but you need to configure it so we are selecting and we are associating the phone with port one so physical tid will be provided by the isp but here i use zero a zero for vodafone ghana and then we are associating it with port one so we maintain port one if you want to use port two you use port two but but then a physical id will need to correspond apply so that is it thank you for watching tech stuff don't forget to like comment leave your questions if you have any and subscribe thank you very much goodbye